On this episode of Yet Another Car Show, I make small complaints about a car that I otherwise enjoy. Okay, so this time around I didn't have anything to install or anything to work on, so I decided to do one of these five things I dislike or love about my car videos that everybody seems to do. This time around I'm going to be doing five things that I dislike and in a future video I'll do one about five things that I love about this car. And I say dislike because there's nothing I really hate about this car so I think it's fair enough to just say dislike. Alright, I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's start off with number five. There's this panel inside the hatch right here. It's the cover for the third brake light, and it sometimes likes to rattle. And it's not even a problem on every car. My other car doesn't do it. It's probably a result of being modified lower. It has the exhaust and everything, so there's a little bit of extra vibration in there. But it's just a little bit annoying every once in a while. Things starts to rattle, and I gotta sit there, and I gotta hit it with my fist to get it to stop. Eventually, maybe I'll shove some paper or something in this edge, fold a folded piece of paper, just to stop it vibrating against the metal of the hatch door. All right, let's get into number four. This car has a feature, at least on the driver's side front window, where you hit it once, it cracks it. They call it the smoker's window. And if you crack any of the windows, around the car, the thing that really annoys me is when they're cracked just like this and you go over a bump in the road or an expansion joint or something, the window rattles in the frame and it just ruins the perceived quality of the car. Same thing with the rattle in the hatch in number five. You know, minor annoyances. Again, it doesn't make me hate the car. It's just, it's just a weird little annoying rattle and I don't know why it has to do that. Number three brings us to the back of the car again. Here's the back window wiper sprayer. See how it's offset as opposed to the wiper? And here's the edge of the wiper, there's the sprayer. You absolutely have to douse this rear window to get it to clean. I don't understand why Mazda couldn't have put it in the middle of the third brake light or integrated it into the wiper or something, something, anything other than that because it just doesn't really work all that well, and I'll demonstrate that for you here in a second. I'll flick the wipers on for you, so here's the on position. That, that's another little annoying thing about the wiper is it goes three times, and then that's the only setting. There's no intermittent. It's either three swipes or the one swipe. So if you want to clear the window or anything, it's just silly. There's only two weird settings. And you can't, you can't just, you know, turn it once to clear it. Uh, so I guess that can be annoyance 3.1. See how it barely catches anything? You have to really, you have to really hammer it. And, you know, at that point you've wasted a ton of wiper fluid. The window's clean, but at what cost? Number two on the list is way down here in the footwell. Forgive me, you're about to see my feet again. Uh, get used to it, I drive without shoes on and I work on my car without shoes on. It happens. Someone complained about it in the last video. So I was talking about safety, but working without my shoes on. I've never been injured working on a car because I wasn't wearing shoes, so. Annoyance number two is the gas pedal. It's way over here, uh, and I'll get another angle for you. It's way over here in this cavern that is the footwell and it just it could be either the brake pedal could have been a little more to the right or the throttle pedal could have been a little more to the left and I can heel toe just fine but you know for when I first got the car it was really difficult and there are some people even now who have bigger feet than I do that just have difficulty with it because there's this the big center console your leg kind of hits it. You know, it works perfectly for me because I'm used to it, but there are other people out there who just can't get this motion down. See, there's your point of reference. The brake pedal's a little too far to the left, and the throttle pedal's a little too far to the right. All right, 
My number one dislike about this car is the fact that it lacks cruise control. And the reason why that bothers me is because I could literally take the steering wheel and airbag from my other car, install it on here, go to a Mazda dealer, have them flash the ECU, and boom! I'd have cruise control and radio controls that easily. And you had to spend an extra $3,000 to get a touring model. You know, all I really wanted was the cruise control from it. And you would think that in 2014, you could offer it on a car that's throttled by wire across the range. So eventually I'm going to buy myself a touring steering wheel and airbag because going on road trips with this car and not having cruise control is pretty rough. That just seems silly to me, but that's how they got you to buy the Touring model. There you have it. My five dislikes about my 2014 Mazda 2. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And for my returning subscribers, if you have any comments or suggestions, requests, please feel free to send them my way, and I'll do my best to accommodate them. You guys drive the channel, so I want to put out content you want to see as best I can. Thank you once again for watching this time, and I'll see you guys in a future episode. It's okay, eventually I'll have a nice suction cup mount. I won't be using painter's tape.